Yo, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Prox, and today I'm going to be showing you my talent guide for the Arcane Surge slash Arcane Power Mage, the one-shot combo. The absolute most fun mage build I've ever made. Um, this thing is fucking glorious. I've had a fascination with uh, one-shotting things as a mage since SOD became a thing in phase one. Um, right now, I'll show, you, I'll show you my gear, my talents my runes as well as um what's it called what i'm just overall what i'm rocking for this and how you should go about doing it so as far as gear goes baseline spell power i got 195 in arcane uh this comes from the gnomer tailoring head uh, i got a sm graveyard neck some random arcane sh spell damage shoulders 11 or the stv cloak the dreamweave gloves and vest some arcane damage bracers i need to upgrade those they're just expensive um the graveyard dagger which i want to turn into the mage only 15 spell power sword the nomer gone offhand obviously the, a lot of this is going to get replaced with nomer gear but uh then we got the arcane wand as well as you got the spell pen rune the invoker's pearl the stv arcane ring and then death mage sash all of these are from nomer or and the phase one as well um, for runes, you're rocking Arcane Blast, Missile Barrage on your waist, Arcane Surge on your legs, and Spell Power on your boots. Spell Power gives you a 50% increased critical damage, and then you're rocking Burnout on your chest, which gives you a 15% increased chance to crit. So all of my Arcane spells have a 23% chance to crit. Now as far as talents go, this I'm still spec for AoE farming. So for PvP, it's this exact same build, except for you change two things, which is you change arcane meditation to two into improved counter spell and one into improved arcane missiles the silence is super nice and then also with missile barrage you're going to want to be casting arcane missiles so just a little bit of extra chance for you to not get interrupted is good with that um yeah you got five in focus two in subtlety better wands clear casting extremely important arcane explosion with the 50 percent increased critical damage and your chance of clear casting like sometimes it's your best instant option and you can all honestly aoe players down um, you need resilience to get the 10% max mana, all that stuff. Palm, arcane instability, and arcane power. These are the three most important talents. Um, I'm going to go, let's go over the macro real quick. I named it Finish Him with the Death Knight Obliterate symbol, you know. Felt like it was fitting. But cast arcane power first. That increases your arcane damage by 30%, but also makes them cost 30% more. And then I have it use my helmet, which is the helmet effect. Is reduces the mana cost of all your spells by 50% and increases your spell power by 50 for 12 seconds. So negates that 30% increase. Does not, however, make arcane surge cost nothing if clear casting is up. I've already, I've already was way too hopeful for that. That would have been way too broken though. But I mean, there's a lot of broken things in in SOD. Anyways, so then you have cast presence of mind. Which I don't know why there's a W there, but yeah, I cast palm. And the reason why you have palm. Or, and then after palm you have arcane surge okay so arcane surge is going to use all your mana usually what i like to do is i walk up i fire blast them and then i hit f1 which d activates all of that right and then the arcane surge up uh, no crit you'll get but about 14 to 1500 damage uh on a crit you're looking at about 2.2k and then instantly right after it activates that little mana regeneration but arcane blast costs like no mana and then you'll get an instant arcane blast with presence of mind the presence of mind arcane blast on upon a crit will hit anywhere between a thousand and twelve hundred um no crit you're looking at six to seven hundred and then at right after that a lot of the times if they're still alive for some reason it will proc missile barrage and then you're going to get a free instant doubly fast arcane missiles and then from there you you get some, enough mana region to do another fire blast all in all you're, if everything crits you're looking at about five thousand burst damage in the first four to five seconds of fighting anyone um a way of making some of my money is by dueling people for gold which i think is funny um and then in battle and battlegrounds is just great now obviously it's not the best survivability tactic but it's just it just doinking people like that is so fun and you're you have an insane amount of power as an arcane mage anyways so i recommend you give this build a try yourself it's some of the most fun i've had with world of warcraft in a long time and uh yeah you'll be seeing more videos with it and about it on this channel so if you do enjoy this please consider subscribing and yeah, you'll have a great day. Peace.